I'm here with Terry Serio, the lead actor in the film. Terry, what's it like to be back here 40 years later celebrating the film with all these people? Pretty wild. Um, and is this this car? My God, um, what a beast! It, it brings back a lot of memories. Um, it's 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 just fantastic. I mean, I, I, who John and I were John, the director, who you just spoke to, and I were riding out in this car, this beautiful uh, Falcon, the, the Phase Three, and um, just reminiscing how all those years ago when we were shooting here, we, if we thought we would be doing this then, we would have been going, nah, that couldn't happen. And because so many films disappear, so many films made in that era of just people just going, eh, barely remember them. But Running on Empties has a life of, life of its own. It's ridiculous. It's, yeah, it's amazing. I mean, and wonderful, you know, yeah. I've got to say. Yeah, absolutely. And can you tell me about the Rebel Garage? Yeah, well, um, this is... Um, this is Rebel's place. So Rebel built his 57 Chevy here in this garage <laughs> and, and he lived in a house next door. Um, he, he lived out in the, in the middle of nowhere so that he could still drive because he drove blind, you know. No, don't tell anyone that that, that, that actually happened, but that's real. <laughs> that's actually what he did. Um, so he lived out in the middle of nowhere so he could still live his passion you know and drive these this wild wild car this one um, in the middle of the night daytime didn't matter to him because he was blind and he had his co-driver with him you know his wife and um, they would just kind of tear up the, the the tarmac well not tarmac just the dirt you know it was incredible <laughs> so this is this is we just stumbled upon it when when the three of us in the in the phase three falcon um you know pulled up because we were struggling to, with the mechanics. We, uh, we just happened to run into this guy Rebel who was our saviour in, in the end, you know, because he had this magical car in the garage and we didn't realise it was him who had actually almost run us over the night before, you know, in the dark. <laughs> we, we thought he was insane and the, our characters thought he was insane. Anyway, that's where we are at Rebels and I, I, it sort of makes me sad in a way that they pulled the whole thing down. Um, but there's this lovely replica here anyway, just to, to market it. You know, it's like a, it's like a tombstone. But we're still alive. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, and growing. And I mean, and you growing, know, yeah. even now we have, there's a huge following for the film. Yeah. What do you think it is that makes it so appealing and relevant, like all these years later? Well, I mean, even at the time we knew that we had the cars right. You know, mm. so many people make films and they 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 don't have an attention to detail like. John, for instance, was a, a big car lover and had an incredible attention to detail, but also, you know, uh, an understanding of, of, of kind of the, the real culture, you know, not, not sort of, uh, not like a culture vulture kind of culture, but just the ordinary urban culture in Australia and knew that people loved cars, Falcons and Holdens, Ford and General Motors, you know. Um, <coughs> How they got rid of them just blows my mind. We're talk, we talking to people on the, you know, today even just going, what, what a disappointing thing to lose those companies. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, yeah, so there was, I think it, it just tapped into that that notion that any one of us could kind of build a car in the backyard, you know, and and make it work. You yeah. know, it, uh, it's just full of that sort of. Uh, Australian resourcefulness. That empowering. Pe empowering. It, it totally. And, and that's that's one of the things that struck people, I think. They just love it, you know. And and it and it spawned a whole generation of people who who went and built their own cars. I've had so many people come up to me and go, Terry, I built my car because of you guys. You know, really all that stuff. So it's pretty special. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, likewise. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>